G'day YouTube and welcome back to Step by Step Back to Basics. Today we're going to be building one of these battery packs or cell, depending on how you look at it. Um, we're going to be building one of these 105 amp hour cells to place into a new 24 volt 100 amp hour battery that we'll build. I need four of these for an upcoming project. So before we actually go ahead and build that um, from all these cells we just finished harvesting and uh, testing to get all the uh, milliamp hours for each cell, let's go ahead and sit down and talk a little bit more about the actual cell voltages and in series and battery packs and how to set these up so we can make an efficient battery. So let's have a look at um, series and paralleling our batteries. Just so we have a basic understanding so we can build a better battery or power supply. Um, so basically, in series, you increase the voltage, but the capacity stays the same. In parallel, the voltage stays the same and you can increase the uh, capacity. So I have um, two small examples here. Um, here we have in series. So when we would to connect these, we would go from our positive to our negative at the top, and then we'd come down, connect our positive to our negative, positive to our negative. And this is like a flow of water through the battery. So it's flowing in a, in a wave through the battery. So when we do this, our voltage increases. In this specific example, we have seven uh, 4.2 volt lithium ion 18650 cells, which are three volt to 4.2 volts. And when we put them in series, they go to 21 volts to 29.4 volts. But since these are all 2800 milliamp hour batteries, the amperage stays the same. So our capacity is still 2800 uh, milliamp hours but our voltage has um, increased to uh, 21 through 29.4 volts from the original three to 4.2 volts. And that is series where you increase the voltage and the capacity stays the same. In parallel, what we have here, we have seven batteries again, um, but in these ones, we'd go connect these all across the top and all across the bottom. And this is paralleling our batteries. So these are still a 4.2 volt battery. So the battery voltage is three volts to 4.2 volts. But in this case, your capacity has changed. The capacity of one of these batteries is 2,800 milliamp hours. And since we put it in parallel, the capacity of this battery now is 1,600, 19,600 milliamp hours. Okay, so that is the difference, basic difference between um, series and parallel. I have one more example here of another battery pack, which is in series and in parallel. So we have two batteries which are running in series and seven batteries, sorry, two batteries which are running in parallel and seven batteries which are running in series. So we're increasing the capacity from 2,800 milliamp hours to 5,600 milliamp hours, but we're also increasing the voltage from 4.2 volts to 29.4 volts. So, um, so this is what you do. You'd, you'd cross all of these across, and then you'd also um, go through the wave as well. So you'd cross them this way and this way. So these are all across this way, and then we'd put small bits of nickel strip across this way. So um, in this particular case, this is series and parallel. But since this is only a small example, and we want to build a big battery pack, which is useful for, for running large appliances, refrigerators, ACs, anything, um, compressors. I have a portable power supply I purposely built just to run a compressor because they have a real lot of draw on them when they first start up. So this is one of the batteries or cells we're going to be building for one of our 24 volt 100 amp hour batteries. So we took 
38 of these, which are averaging 2,800 milliamp hours. Some are a little bit over, some are a little bit under, but it averages out to 2,800 milliamps, which turns this capacity, once we add all these milliamps up, it changes this to a 105 amp hour battery, which means it's 100,000, 105,000 milliamp hours, which you divide it by 1,000 and you get 105 amp hour battery. Because in theory, this is just a 2.8 amp hour battery, which is 2,847 milliamp hours. And so that's the difference and the, the little bit you have to understand when we want to build a battery, is that we need to put them in series and in parallel. To start with, we're going to put them all in parallel in each of these packs, and we're going to make seven of these packs. And then we're going to put those packs in series to make our 24 volt battery. So um, once again, YouTube, thanks for watching this um, small update for series and parallel. And we'll continue um, next by actually breaking down and going step by step through building one of these um, cells for our 24 volt uh, 100 amp hour battery. And remember, if you buy cheap, you will buy twice and keep it simple whenever possible.